here, right? Standing on a big pond. There's some little waves out on the big pond. Yeah, there's a fish on it for sure. Are you sure? I don't know. Are we just going that fast? I don't know. Or is that just a flat for me? Cool. Yeah, it was just a fucking dipsy. We're going really fast. Yeah, we probably should go down to two, two, two or three. And Fritz caught a dipsy diver. Yep. Holy fuck, that was the hardest fighting Dixie Diver ever. <laughs> <laughs> How much do I put out? Wasn't there like one, 100 or 110? I think 110. We're just in this lot stand here. These cows are just like friendly as hell. It's really bizarre. Should be fucking. There's a fish. Rainbow. Got a keeper. At least we caught something. Falls deep. Falls deep. You know what is working? Little brownie wownie. They're not getting hooked very well. It's, I'm just letting them go anyways. Should probably put on a spinner with sharper hooks. There's one on the spinner. There's, a, there's that one. Hopefully he swims away fine. Yeah, he did. Hopefully he's okay. Is 
that's all of that. The keeper. We want to change spoons. So the light trout we cleaned the same way I'm cleaning that. I'll show. So what I'm going to do is this is a brown trout, not a light trout, but I'm just going to slice down here. And then cut the head off. And then pull the guts out. Pretty simple. And then I'm just going to rinse this off. And I'll show you how I'm going to make my batter. Let's dry nice and clean. Montana smoked trout. So the first thing you need is a cup of salt. This is non-iodized salt. Although it says you should get kosher salt, so you need salt that's blast. Because supposedly that's better. I don't know how it's better. So I'm going to pour in a cup of it. Sugar. I have food club brown sugar and this is dark brown sugar and it says we need a half cup of this. So I need to get scissors. Definitely don't measure ingredients like I do. I'm measuring in quantitative chemistry. Then I need some lemon juice, which is right here. We need three tablespoons of this, right? Yeah. This is gonna be like the rest of this. There's my three tablespoons of lemon juice. And then I think we need some onion powder. We need a teaspoon of onion powder, which is right here. Let me wipe this out. A teaspoon of onion powder, then we need a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of allspice. Where's our allspice? We better have some. Here's my some ground allspice, unless we have an emptier container. Or 
unfortunately it does not even have close to a teaspoon in it either. You can tell that close enough. And then we need the black pepper. Which we should have black pepper out here somewhere. No, it's using it last night. This is probably going to be greasy as hell. Yeah, that's about the right amount of juice. So it looks like the smoker's ready. So I got my bucket of fish. Here's the lake trout. It's going to take a while to smoke. You only need to brine them, it said, for six to eight hours. But I noticed with salmon or lake trout like that one that are bigger, they take longer to brine. Whereas if you have a 10 inch stream trout, they will be brined in like four or six hours. But these get brined really well. Then I'm going to put some of my shit down there. Real smoky. Need to get some good smoke. And then we're going to shut her down and cool her down. And hopefully, she'll be nice and hot. Actually, you don't want it super hot. You only want it like a hundred and some odd degrees. I don't know the exact temp. I'm not that much of a smoking snob. The fish are like cured in salt so you probably won't get sick through them. Like if I smoke pork I usually will smoke it then I'll bake it to make sure it gets warm enough and put barbecue sauce with it but not with fish. And we have not had an issue getting sick from fish so I just usually brine it and then I smoke it for like two to four hours depending on the size of the fish. So I brined the brown trout for, smoked the brown trout I meant for like two hours and here's what it looks like. It's very good. It smoked about the right amount after about two hours in here. Then here's what the lake trout looks like. It's still a little oily. But it's still good. It could just be smoked a little longer. And I smoked this for like four hours. I still like it though. I love smoked fish. So that's it for this catch and cook. We did catch a coho salmon the other day. But we gave it to our friend. Because when we went out we only caught one salmon. But I'll do a salmon catch and cook next time we catch one of them. Hope they'll be out salmon fishing soon. And I'm searching for some other species to do catch and cooks on too. And I'm sorry I don't have the lake trout on film, but when I'm trolling on Lake Michigan, I run the lines and they just kind of pop out of, up out of nowhere when they hit and I didn't get the camera going. So that's it for this catch and cook and I appreciate everyone who watches it.